barbed wire fences on the east side of the prison near the chapel, but prison officials aren't sure what time they made their getaway. The escape's under investigation right now, and so we don't know exactly what time they left. They were noticed missing at the 9.45 p.m. camp. All three were serving time for armed robbery. David William Arendale was serving 30 years for a robbery he committed in 1971. Marshal Eugene Fortner was serving 25 years for a robbery he committed in 1982, and Gary William Hope was serving a life sentence for a 1976 armed robbery. Burge says some prison clothing was found near the prison soon after the search for the trio began, but she wasn't sure how much clothing was found. Within an hour of being notified of the escape, the Tennessee Highway Patrol's new contingency plan was put into action. The Highway Patrol and other state personnel manned roadblocks along Highway 51 and adjoining highways. The search for the latest inmates to leave the prison was centered throughout the night east of the prison along the Hatchie River. Dogs tracked the inmates east toward Highway 51. The first break in the night-long search came at 4 this morning when one of the inmates was spotted crossing Highway 51 near Henning. William Arendale was found lying in grass and weeds alongside the highway. Ironically, the escape came in the midst of the Department of Corrections and Tennessee Highway Patrol holding meetings discussing their new contingency plan for capturing escapees. The meeting was held Monday and Tuesday at Fort Pillow and was scheduled for today at the Lake County Prison. Doug Byer, News 3 in Lauderdale County. The contingency plan was put together by the Tennessee Highway Patrol and the Tennessee Emergency Management Agency, but it involved several state agencies. The plan follows last year's two major escapes at Fort Pillow, which left three people dead and several unsettled lawsuits. In fact, just this week, Fort Pillow held mock exercises concentrating on tracking procedures and testing the prison's dog squad. Ironically, a mock session had been scheduled for today at Lake County Prison, but was canceled after last night's real escape. The practice sessions that we had, like I said, were just to make sure that, that everything was intact. You know, this is the, the weather that, that folks tend to get itchy feet, and we wanted to make sure we were ready for it. And when notice went out that three Fort Pillow inmates had escaped, a command post was set up near the prison within a quarter of an hour. All the designated posts were manned within an hour and 15 minutes. It's a very organized method of searching. Uh, the, with a plan like that, you don't have people tripping over each other, researching areas that somebody's just searched. It's, it's highly organized. The people are very skilled. Fort Pillow says the contingency plan apparently is working by the evidence that two of the three fugitives were recaptured within 24 hours of their escape. Kathy Thurmond, News 3, near Henning, Tennessee.